Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to discuss an example for the optimization problem. Given a right circular cylinder with a height 2h and the radius r equals to square root of a squared minus h squared. The right circular cylinder is inscribed in a sphere of a fixed radius a. So now I'm going to illustrate the situation. So now in here, we have a sphere with a fixed radius a. So meaning that in here, we have a center and the radius a. So for the diameter, it would be 2a. Next, I'm going to have a right circular cylinder. So as we all know, the right circular cylinder, the shape will be something like this. Okay, so with the radius of the cylinder r, and then we have the situation, the height is 2h based on the questions. So now I'm going to inscribe the right circular cylinder in 2D form into the circle. So here we have the right circular cylinder. So it seems like it is a rectangle because sketched in a 2D form. So here we have, we call H. Here we have another H. So based on the diagram, this will be the R and this will be the A or the radius for the sphere. So kindly refers to A. Show that the volume of the cylinder is 2 pi bracket a squared minus h squared multiplied with the h. So kindly refers to the right circular cylinder. We have the formula v is equals to pi r squared multiplied with the 2 h. Before we show the situation, so kindly find the radius. Okay, kindly find the radius. So in here, we have the Pythagoras theorem. Kindly refers to the right angle, triangle. So given the situation, a squared is equals to h squared plus r squared. We write the situation. So r squared will be equals to a squared minus h squared. So finally, r will be equals to square root of a squared minus h squared. Then, substitute the situation into the formula for the right circular cylinder. So where we will have v is equals to 2 pi bracket the r squared, where we will have square root of a squared minus h squared bracket with the square multiplied with the h. So rewrite the situation. V will be equals to 2 pi bracket a squared minus h squared multiplied with the h. So now refers to the question A and we already show the situation. Hence, find the first and the second derivative of the volume. So before find the first and the second derivative, I'm going to expand the situation where v will be equals to 2 pi a squared h minus 2 pi h cube. Next, differentiate the situation with respect to h. So given the situation, a is a fixed radius for the sphere, so meaning that it is a constant. So if we differentiate and we will obtain 2 pi a squared minus 6 pi h squared. For the second derivative, we will have 0 minus 12 pi h. Next, part b. From the part a, find the maximum of the volume v in terms of pi as the height h vary. So first, we are going to find the critical value. So where we will have dv, dh is equals to 0. 
So kindly substitute the situation and we will have 2 pi a squared minus 6 pi h squared equals to 0. So 2 pi a squared equals to 6 pi h squared. Simplify the situation. h squared will be equals to 2 pi a squared over 6 pi. Then h will be equals to square root of a squared over 3. Rewrite the situation where we have h is equals to a over square root of 3. Next, substitute the value of h into the second derivative. So meaning that when h is equals to a over square root of 3, so we will have the second derivative is equals to negative 12 pi multiply with the a over square root of 3. So kindly refers to the situation. Here we have a negative value multiply with a positive value and we will obtain a value which is less than 0. When it is a less than 0 means that it is a maximum value. When h is equal to a over square root of 3. So kindly refers to the question. They said find the maximum volume. So meaning that we are going to substitute the value into the situation. Now find the maximum volume. So meaning that I'm going to substitute the h which is equal to a over square root of 3 into this part. So v is equal to 2 pi bracket a squared minus a over square root of 3 square multiply with a over square root of 3. So rewrite the situation v is equal to 2 pi bracket where we have a squared minus a squared over 3 multiply with a over square root of 3. So simplify the situation and we will have v is equals to 2 pi multiply with 2a squared over 3 bracket multiply with a over square root of 3 multiply with the conjugate where we have square root of 3 over square root of 3. So rewrite the situation v will be equals to 2 pi multiply with 2 square root of 3 a to the power of 3 over in here notice that square root of 3 multiply with square root of 3 we will have 3 then multiply with the 3 then finally we will have 9 v is equal to 4 multiply with square root of 3 pi a cube over 9. That will be the maximum volume v in terms of pi as the height h vary. Hence, state the value of the volume if a is equal to 3. So meaning that when the a is equal to 3, so kindly substitute the situation, v will be equal to 12 multiply with set 3 pi. Show that the ratio of the volume of the sphere, the volume of the sphere. So in here, the volume of the sphere, v is equal to 4 pi r cubed over 3. That will be the formula for sphere. So now by referring to the diagram, as we all know, the radius for the sphere is a. So the volume for the sphere is equals to 4 pi a cubed over 3. Next, they said the volume of the sphere to the maximum volume of the cylinder. So previously in B, we already discussed the volume for the cylinder maximum is 4 multiplied with 3 pi a cubed over 9. 
So now the question asks us to find the ratio between the volume for sphere ratio to the volume for the cylinder which is the maximum. So kindly express the situation. So where we will have the volume of sphere 4 pi a cube over 3 ratio to 4 square root of 3 pi a cube over 9. Kindly express the situation in a fraction form. So where we will have the volume for sphere over volume for the cylinder maximum is equals to 4 pi a cube over 3 over 4 multiply with square root of 3 pi a cube over 9. Simplify the situation and we will have 4 pi a cube over 3 multiply with 9 over 4 multiply with square root of 3 pi a cube. So we can simplify the situation 4 pi. Then a cube. So finally, we will have the situation 9 over 3 square root of 3. So finally, if we simplify the situation and we will have 9 over 3 square root of 3. Simplify and we will have the volume for the sphere over the volume for the cylinder maximum is equal to 3 over square root of 3. So multiply with the conjugate and we will have 3 square root of 3 over 3. So finally, we will have square root of 3 over 1. So the ratio would be volume for sphere ratios to volume for the cylinder maximum would be square root of 3 ratios to 1. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you think the video is useful, Kindly consider to like, comment, share and subscribe.